what's up Roger here now as you guys know I have mentioned multiple times that I will be looking for a printer with a larger print bed and we all knew that bamboo was going to come out with something we just didn't know when and we didn't know what so recently there's been somewhat of a leak a speculative leak we don't know for sure if this is real but it looks reasonable now some of the things that we have noticed in this image and from what I've been reading about it um, this let me try to do this here okay so this machine obviously bigger if you look at the oh, if you look at the size of the AMS in comparison to the AMS on the X1C this machine is substantially wider without doubt um, not much doubt at all another thing that I find interesting is you know the community kind of dug in they found some patents on multiple, multiple color management that bamboo had uh, filed and in this photo appears to be two print nozzles or two print heads so the speculation is that this printer is able to load two colors simultaneously and then also do multi-material switching on two separate heads again this is a speculation but there is a rare instance where I do multicolor, and when I do, it's generally just two colors. Uh, so this would be absolutely perfect for me. If I was printing black and red, I could reload red into one head, black into the other head, do my prints. It would actually probably make me do more multicolor because I knew I could incorporate more red into the design. Uh, throughout the process instead of just doing black and then red you know, I can switch back and forth because there wouldn't be a purge there wouldn't be that need to wait for the filament to load it would just continue printing it would print and then switch to the other head print and then switch back to that other head so this is all pretty interesting I think I like it I hope they didn't get away from the glass door a lot of companies are getting away from the glass door just because uncle what's his name broke the glass on one of his machines and i think that's insane like keep the glass door please um there seems to be a side panel here and uh that's an interesting addition i think that's all right i don't i don't mind it but you know what's important to me is the bed size and if we're looking at number one this this image is kind of dark uh i wonder let me see something Save image to desktop. Let's let me do something real quick. Let me do something real quick. I want to try to do something. And let me see where is this photo. No, that's not it. What happened to it? This is what happens when you have too much crap on your desktop. Okay. Let's open that with... We're going to open this with Adobe Photoshop. One thing I've been using for quite a long time because the image is kind of crappy looking and I think we can mm, I think we can make it a little better so let's do that let's at least try to do that I'm gonna move old Photoshop down here into this window all right let's go back to screen view here and now we can take a look at it yeah there seems to be some kind of reflection on the image uh, supposedly this is like well we don't need volume we need zoomy um, it looks like there's a reflection on the image, like this was a printed piece of paper. It actually looks like a sticker. If you look right there, you can see a cut line, and that looks like a sticker. So let's just go to image adjustments, and let's do some levels. And let's see if we can level this out a little bit. We can see the blacks kind of dropped off. So, oh, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we can adjust that a little bit. We're just hoping to be able to zoom in to some more detail. And uh, let's kind of zoom in a little bit. We're probably not going to be able to read anything on the print bed, like for sure. But what I'm trying to feel, get a feel for is in relation to the, 
So the width of the machine is the width of the bed. Like how wide is it? And you can see there's a, this is a flat bottom printer it looks like, right? So you know we all in our X1C we have that lip and uh, this appears to be a flat bottom printer. Uh, so we're not gonna have necessarily the issues that you know where we're, oh, too much. Um, the issue uh, where you were trying to scoop the material out and it was getting caught on that lip. This doesn't look like it appears to have a lip. Uh, yeah, I think the biggest question is how big exactly is this print bed? You can see now that we've done those adjustments, we can clearly see that they, there's two of something going on here, like clearly. There's two something. And we can definitely get a feel for the difference of the AMS and what the AMS 2 or the AMS 2 Pro is exactly, what they've changed about it. Nothing seems to be obvious uh, on the surface, I don't think. No, nothing seems to be obvious on the surface. But I would guess if it has anything to do, it may have to do with the multi, multi material where you'll be feeding two spools simultaneously. Um, I think probably that's the big change. I don't, it doesn't look like it has like drying capability, but you never know. Um, screen layout, definitely a little different. Uh, it's kind of flat mounted to the machine. The software looks a little bit different. I don't know if this is real or if this is just fake, but if someone faked it, they went to a lot of trouble um, to get those details. You know. And I was trying to look in the back of my machine while it's printing. Okay, that this 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 particular these doesn't exist in my machine now. So anyway, one of the things you got to look at is when people are trying to fake it. Lots of times they'll use pieces of existing technology in the fake photos. So I don't feel like that's necessarily fake it. I wonder what this is. What is that? What is that? I have no idea. You know, I had another idea. Let me, um, let me do this. Let me do this. Put you back on the full screen. I don't know what's on my desktop and I just don't want to show everybody everything. Not like there's nudie photos or anything, but um, I've got another program that I use, uh, Topaz Photo AI. I use this a lot, and it helps kind of rebuild photos that are pixelated or crappy. Uh, it does a really good job at fixing photos. So I'm kind of going to let it go through here and run on this and see if it can do anything. I don't really want it to, like, eh, I don't know. I'm not really sure it did much of anything. But let's switch back over and let you see. So this is Topaz. And you can see it's kind of sharpened things up. But we don't know what this is anyway. So it's hard to even say. There's some kind of line inside the machine. I mean, just to look at it, you would think it was like... What is this? What is this? What is that? But with the... Know, with the AI features you can see it sharpened up something we don't know what it is it's obviously not going to make it more clear to read but that to me definitely looks like two separate print heads um, I think that's that's pretty obvious at this point let's see what it did if anything to the screen it's probably just gonna fudge it up a little bit I mean, it's doing as much as it can, really, basically. Uh, let me see. I don't think there's a lot we're going to be able to derive from... Maybe a little more detail down here in this area for, like, whatever's going on right here. But that's about it. So I don't think that program necessarily helped us, but if you see something in there and you're like, Hey, wait a minute means pointed out um, and if you've heard anything about this please let me know because this is something I'm, I'm very 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 interested in uh, back to screen view and uh, so yeah I'm trying to figure out more the more I can figure out about this thing the better I don't know what the hell this is yeah but the more I can figure out about this printer the better I've been wanting a bigger uh, print bed 
obviously I've got the X1C. I've been so happy with this thing. I've got 11, 1200, maybe 1300 hours on it, and I've done nothing. I have cleaned the lead screws. That's it. I haven't done nothing. Zero modification to this machine. And look, I mean, look what this thing is print. Look at, if you can see what it's printing right now, the, the spot down here is about the size of a dime. That this piece is complicated and big as this piece is. It's about the size of a dime that's holding these things vertical. And you know, if you had Z offset problems, these would have got knocked over immediately. That is a un, fully unmodified machine. I just literally put the filament in it, it's printing PETG. I put the filament in it, I put my design on it, and I hit print. I've done nothing else. So it's hard to convince me to go with any other machine, especially when my interest truly is in printing, not tinkering with a printer. But uh, I digress, you know, we're talking about this. So I hope this is a real thing. When I look at the size of the AMS compared to, there we go, size of the AMS compared to the size of the machine, this is substantially larger. I mean, this is substantially larger. I think we could probably see another, we think we could probably see another 100 millimeters. You think three, 350 by 350 by 350? Maybe more? What have you heard? I'm interested in finding out what you guys. There was a guy on YouTube. I'll put a card up here to his video where he speculated a little bit about. He dug in a little bit deeper than I did, to be completely honest. But uh, And I'll put a card up to his video up here so you can check it out. Because this, this is what I'm looking for. Like, this is what I'm looking for. And I'm willing to wait. I was going to buy a printer soon. I had some money burning a hole in my pocket. But honestly, I'm willing to wait. I'm willing to wait. Um, yeah, I was actually thinking, but how many A1s, for the, for the purpose of commercial printing, how many A1s could I buy for the price of this thing? That's the question you have to ask yourself. Um, yeah, I don't need a bigger build plate if I have six machines. So... <laughs> That's something I have to consider. But this is definitely interesting. The Bamboo H2D. H2D. Uh, I think this is, if this is a true leak, I'm excited about this. I can't wait to see it. And if Bamboo truly put it off so they could work out the bugs, they didn't want to release a machine with bugs, I got to say, I'm pretty interested. I'm pretty interested. But again, go check out this guy's video. He was definitely more detailed on this, but I just want to put this out there to try to get the community to come back and say, hey, this is what I heard, this is what I heard. I'm trying to hear from you guys. What have you heard? What do you know? Let's get into it.